Hi friends, today I am going to post a new video on Houth. Houth is an Ireland village located 20 km away from Dublin city and it's one of the most visited places in Europe. Today I am going to show some lovely places in Houth. Hope you will like it. Please watch until the end of the video. I have started my journey to Houth today morning from my home and first I need to reach the city center by Luas and then I need to take train from the city center. The Luas arrived. Now I am going to take this Luas to reach the city center. Hardly it will take 10 minutes uh, journey from here. So uh, Dublin is one of the amazing city and uh, I have been living in Dublin for two years. There are a lot of things to see. For example, Trinity College, uh, oldest university built in 1592, Dublin Castle, Stephen Green. On the right you can find uh, Stephen Green Park, it's a historic park and garden located in the center of Dublin city. Maybe I will uh, take another video on Stephen Green Park uh, very shortly. And now I reached uh, Dublin city center and, uh, and I, I need to go to train station. So five minutes walk from here. And now we reached a train station and I'm going to catch the train to Houth. The total journey will be approximately 30 to 40 minutes from here. And I'm going to take this train. Uh, the station is full of crowded due to Easter vacation. The ticket cost uh, 3.5 euro from Dublin city center to Houth. Uh, it's an amazing view and the total kilometer is approximately 20. And now we are almost going to reach uh, Houth. Hardly within two minutes, we will reach there. The train station is located a five minutes walk distance from Houth and Piers. So now we reached uh, Houth town, and first uh, we are going to see the Houth lighthouse. Uh, which is on East Pier and it will take approximately 10 minutes walk from the town. The town is too busy today uh, due to Easter holidays. Uh, there are many things to do in Houth and there is definitely uh, something for everyone and you can also find uh, many restaurants, coffee shops and particularly this uh, town is a hot spot for seafood lovers and also you can uh, find Houth Market. Uh, I will take you after East Pier Walk today. This walk was such an amazing experience with the fresh air. And it's a must visit place uh, if you come to Ireland. So the town center is beautiful and uh, colorful, full of greenery and uh, you can get a great view of the sea. Uh, people used to walk with their family and dog and you can find uh, fresh ships here there are many shops and you can grab fresh ships uh, it's very famous here While walking towards the East Pier, uh, there are plenty of outdoor gyms in this park 
uh, which is completely free and this allow people to work outside in the fresh air uh, during summer months they are a great alternate for people uh, you can find many outdoor occupants while walking towards the east pier you can find many boats parked in the harbor now we are very close to the starting point of the east pier walk today the weather is so nice it's sunny and i'm going to climb the steps to get a beautiful view on ireland sea Now I reach the entrance of the East Pier and you can find a spectacular view on the Irish Sea. And the thing is, uh, you cannot uh, enter inside the water because it is completely blocked by stones. Also, it is fully crowded today. So I am continuing my walk towards East Pier. This pretty place was once a tiny fishing village. Uh, however, it has grown to be a major coastal area with a busy fishing port and this harbor was built in the year early 1800. You would find a lighthouse sit at the end of the East Pier. The Houth Harbor is very close to the Dublin airport so you could see many flights from the harbor very easily Back, uh, you can get an amazing view on the house town with a lot of uh, hotels, restaurants. Away from the sea, you could find a small island. In Ireland, we call it as uh, Ireland Ice. It's easily reached by a uh, regular seasonal tourist boat. And this island is formed from quartzite grey wax. It is a home to nationally significant bird population, uh, notably of guillemots, rasurbil, seagulls. I'm going to upload a separate video on this island very shortly. going to reach the lighthouse hardly it will take uh, two minutes walk from here and also you can see many boats and yards moving in and out of the harbor and now we reach the lighthouse you can find an amazing view towards the harbor and the height of the lighthouse is approximately 48 feet which is 14.5 uh, meter and when this lighthouse was built in 1817 it was originally used for defensive purpose and you can see a strong circular wall defense a gun position and the lighthouse faced towards the island eye mountain really it was a, a lovely view so now we cover the lighthouse and now we are back to the Houth town to reach the Houth market and while walking towards the Houth market uh, you can find many seagulls and really they are very friendly to peoples and now we are heading towards the hot market hardly it will take uh, approximately five minutes walk from here so now we are going to enter inside the hot market and i have been here a couple of time and the market is uh, really fantastic uh, totally a worth a visit uh, when you are on the town it's small but has a quality stall, it's expensive but great food 
and the market is usually busy on the weekend And inside the market you could find uh, some original honey having uh, really a medicinal properties exported from other Europe country, particularly from Italy. <laughs> and you could find some great chocolates, jelly chocolates, variety of jelly chocolates. It's a lovely view. So churros and uh, cupcakes are really uh, worth a uh, look at. It's very tasty. And if you come to Houth Market, definitely you could try churros as well as cupcakes. So the Houth Market is uh, one of the Ireland's Thank leading you. market. <laughs> and you could find uh, fresh organic food, fresh baked food. And you can also find some delicious sandwich, excellent choice of breads and cakes. Uh, so the thing is, uh, this market open all the seven days. However, it is busy during weekend and bank holidays. You can also find some Irish Hi. sausage. Uh, the sausage is uh, quite good. So the pancakes is very famous here, uh, particularly during the weekend or bank holidays. You can find some pancake stalls. It's really yummy. And when you exit, uh, you could find a shop for picking up some from uh, proper Irish gifts and jewels. It's a great shop for buying a gift. So now we are uh, heading towards the house town back the town is uh, full of uh, busy today and you could find many shops restaurants is full today and particularly uh, fresh fish chips is famous here please try if you got a chance to visit this town and also there are several fish markets across the street where you could find fresh fish at a very reasonable prices I used to come all the weekend to grab some fresh fishes. So thanks uh, very much for uh, watching this video and if you like my uh, video please like and subscribe and I will come with you with a new video very soon. Thanks again for watching.